Algebra 1, 6.5. This is factoring with a first term coefficient. We've factored start, uh, trinomial starting with an x squared before, but what happens when it's in the form of ax squared? That means there's a number in front of it. We've learned to factor the x squared plus bx plus c by writing an x as the first term of our binomial factors. We just automatically put an x in the front because that's x squared. But sometimes the first term has a coefficient that's greater than 1. And we'll let a represent that coefficient. So what if it's a 2 or a 4 or a 6 or something like that? We still factor this by looking for binomials. This first term in each of the binomial factors is going to have the a as its product. And this last term is going to have c as its product. And then we know the inside one and the outside one added together is going to give us our b, isn't it? So let's see how this works. To factor a trinomial in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, we set up our binomial factors. And we can see there's a plus in front of this constant. And we learned in our previous video that when there's a plus there, that means our binomial factors are going to have the same sign. We don't know what they are. We don't know if they're going to be positive or negative. We just know they're going to be the same. And the first thing we do is we look to see if there's any terms that have a common factor. Does 3, 5, and 2 have, do they have common factors? No. Next, we look for two numbers with the product of 3. We can do a positive 1 and a positive 3, or we could do a negative 1 and a negative 3. That'll give us a positive 3. And that is going to be our first term here. Next, we look for two numbers with a product of 2. For this last term, we could do a positive 1 and a positive 2. That would equal a positive 2. And we can multiply a negative 1 and a negative 2 to get a positive 2, couldn't we? So we've got these options and these options, don't we? Next, we get several options to find what the 5x is. Because when we do the outside-inside part of the FOIL, they've got to equal that sum 5x, don't they? So we can start making a list of all of our options. We could do x plus 1, 3x plus 2, because we have a 1 and a 3 and a negative 1 and a negative 3 and a 1 and a 2 and a negative 1 and a negative 2. So we start putting them into the parentheses in different ways as our options, okay? So the first thing I did was I listed this positive 1 and 2, as the back end here, and the positive 1 and 3 as the front end here. See? When we do the FOIL of the outside-inside, we see that we get 2x plus 3x. And that actually equals 5x. If we try plugging in the positive 2 here and the positive 1 here and flipping it around, because we don't know what order they're going to be in, we end up getting a 1x plus a 6x, don't we? Whoops, this is a 6. And that's going to give us a 7x, isn't it? So that's not it. 1x plus 6x is 7x. And if we try doing it with the negative 1 and negative 2, with the positive 1 and 3, we end up getting negative 2 times negative 3. Well, that doesn't work either. We saw that this one worked. Now, actually, we could have done the negative 3 and negative 1 and negative 2 and negative 1. We could have used this one and this one together, and it would have worked. Because they make a positive, don't they? But we chose to do this one because positives are easier to work with. Okay, So we're going to go with the 1 and 3 and the 1 and 2 as positives. And we can see it gives us a 5x. So this fits for our binomial factors for that trinomial. See? It fit. It is 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. And that's our binomial factors. So, like I said, we could have also used negatives for both of them. Okay? I chose this set and this set and did them as binomial factors, but we could have used this one and this one and used them. All right? I just decided to go positive. All right, so now let's look at this one. This is going to be kind of quick because I didn't list them all. 
we've got 2x squared plus 5x minus 12. So we look for a common factor. Do 2, 5, and 12 have a common factor? Nope. So we move on. We're going to find the first terms of our binomial factors. And we need two numbers that have a product of this purple 2. And we can do a positive 1 and a positive 2, or a negative 1 and a negative 2. That'll give us a positive 2. Now we need to find the last terms of our binomial factors. We need two numbers with the product of negative 12. 1 and negative 12, negative 1 and 12. Positive 3 and negative 4, negative 3 and positive 4. Positive 2 and negative 6, negative 2 and positive 6. All those different factors can give us a negative 12. Now, we need to make a list of all of our options using the positive 1 and 2 with each of these and the negative 1 and 2 with each of these to see which one fits. And that's going to take a lot of scratch paper and a lot of dry erase board, so I went right to it. The outside and inside products, when we FOIL, need to equal that 5x. And what I ended up with is the positive 1 and 2 and the negative 3 and the positive 4. So I ended up using this one and this one that ended up being the right combination. Because when I did the outside-inside part of the FOIL, I got an 8x minus a 3x and that gave me 5x. See? So now I can say I've got my binomial square, my binomial factors. See? Yeah, they're not squares. It's binomial factors. Okay, now let's take a look at one that's a little bit longer, all right? We've got 8x squared plus 8x minus 6. We look for a common factor. Do 8, 8, and 6 have a common factor? Yep, they sure do. They got a 2. So we're going to factor out that common factor right away. So we put the 2 on the outside of the parentheses, and what do we multiply 2 by to get that 8x squared? 4x squared. And what do we multiply the 2 by to get 8x? 4x. And what do we multiply 2 by to get negative 6? A negative 3. So now it's all factored out. So now we're going to find the first terms of our binomial factors that are going to have a product of this purple 4. So here's our choices. Positive 1 and positive 4, or these. And then we need to find the last term, and that's going to be a product of a, that's going to come out as a negative 3. Okay? So we could do 1 and negative 3, or negative 1 and 3. So somehow, we're going to pick one of these and one of these, and we're going to get our combination. We're going to make a list of all the options to find this 4x. We're not looking for the 8x because we factored it out with the 2. So we're going to look for the 4x, okay? So I made a list of all my options. And I did the positive 4 and a positive 1 and a positive 3 and a negative 1, and I wrote all my different options, and then I did the outside and inside parts of the FOIL and found out what they equaled, and then I found out that if I went with this one right here, the positive 2 and the positive 2, okay, so that's this one, and if I went with the positive 3 and the negative 1, that's this one, that ended up being the right combination. Those two, see? So you have to make a list, and it's going to take some scratch paper. This isn't that it's hard, it's just that it takes a little bit longer. So it's still kind of easy to do, because the multiplication is so small. So this, right here, is the set of binomial factors that we need. So 8x squared plus 8x minus 6 factors out to are 2 in front of the parentheses, remember, because we factored it out, and then 2x plus 3, 2x minus 1. See? I know that it seems very long, but like I said, it's not that it's hard to do, it's just that it takes a while, okay? So don't look at this as being hard, all right? The next video we're going to do, 6.6, .6, we're going to do factoring by grouping, and there's going to be links in this description for the constant term positive or negative, or making a factoring table to make your life easier. And I did one on modeling trinomial squares, and there's a constant term positive, like I said up here, 
and factoring trinomial squares, okay? So those links will be in this description. All right, let's talk about factoring by grouping in the next video. I'll see ya. Bye.